What's up guys, TJ. We just got back from our section hike of the Northville Placid Trail. We went from Lake Placid to Lung Lake. It ended up with all the road walking and such being about a 50 mile stretch, 45 and a half plus. So um, I'm going to show you guys what I loaded out for a three day, two night hike. We had originally planned to go longer, so some of the stuff's a little redundant, but all right, I'll show you what I got. So for uh, pack, I had the Waymark gear through 40 with the Z-Pack shoulder pocket. Uh, I lined that pack with the Z-Pack's 40 liter Dyneema pack liner. I had a Sea to Summit Ultra Seal, uh small 30 to 50 liter pack cover. And this is my pack towel Nano, which I just hung on the outside of my pack and used religiously throughout the trail. Uh, for my sleep system, I had the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, the new regular wide version with the new wing lock valve and the pump sack. And I decided to carry the pump sack because it's so much easier than actually blowing up the pad. And for uh, like a quilt, I had the Mountain Laurel Designs Spirit 38 quilt, 8 degree quilt, which I kept in this 10 liter outdoor research stuff sack at the bottom of my pack and used a Sea to Summit Eros Ultralight pillow. Uh, for my cook system, I had the Vargo Bot uh, 700, the Snow Peak 450 Titanium Single Walled Mug, Tokes Long Handle Spoon, MSR Small Can, Snow Peak Light Max Stove, uh, Pot Rag Lighter, and then water filtration. I just had the Sawyer Screes with a 64 ounce bag and two smart uh, one liter smart water bottles. Uh, for I also carried a BV450 bear can to store all my food in. Um, half required, half not. I think it's a transition year. We decided to just play it smart and throw all our food in the can. Fits three days really nice. Four days is tight. You can't really get anything else in. And because of that, I carried a um, the Light AF large bear bag, which we used to hang our pots and our extra smelly stuff that didn't quite fit in the can. Uh, we brought a full shelter system just in case we couldn't lean, find a lean-to for the night. So I had my board gear, uh, Solo Sil Poly Tarp. I had a MSR Mini Groundhog, six of those, and then two aluminum shepherd's hooks with extra guy line. I had a Mountain Laurel Design Super Light Solo Bivy um, to be paired with my tarp. And then I had the Cedar Summit Nano Mosquito Pyramid uh, one person net, which we used in the lean twos with my Tyvek ground sheet. I also carried a Z-Packs multi-pack, which I used as my Diddy bag, and basically kept inside the pack most of the time. I also carried a Z-Packs um, pocket, which I used to carry uh, like my repair kits and stuff, just to separate out my personal items from my extra items. Um, in terms of little stuff, I have. A small first aid kit in a light AF Dyneema first aid bag. A little extra Advil. I have the Northo Placid Trail map and guidebook. I like to carry maps and guidebooks. I know it's extra weight, but I like to have the physical map just in case something happens. I did have a Garmin InReach, which I used uh, both for navigation and messaging. I always carry one of these. It adds peace of mind to me and my family when I do go out. I had a small bamboo toothbrush, uh, Deuce of Spades number two trowel, which we were privy hopping, so didn't really need it that much. Um, Sea to Summit uh, head net, which I didn't use at all because I was able to deal with the bugs pretty good. I had a Petzl Actic Core rechargeable headlight, a uh, Mont Bell small trail wallet, a tiny little neck knife. I had a Silva compass for use with my map and guidebook just in case something happened with my navigation. Uh, this is a little like gear repair kit. It's got my sleeping pad patch kit, my tent patch kit, uh, some extra gear tape, some zippers, mitten hooks, stuff like that. I carried an Anchor PowerCore 21,000 milliamp, which I used a lot to charge my phone and my inReach when I needed it. I carried a big brick just in case we were gonna like resupply and recharge and keep going. 
and then the cord from my phone. I had just a cheap pair of sunglasses in a case, which I never used once because the trail is all in the shade. I had the Black Diamond Trail Ergo Cork Trekking Poles, which this is the second time on the Northville Plastic Trail with them. I really like them. I like the aluminum shafts, and I really like the cork handles, and the Ergo handles really help to propel me forward. It makes it really comfortable. Uh, I had a Timex Ironman watch, and I did carry bear spray, because last time I was out on the trail, um, I had quite a nice bear visit at night, so I just carried it for extra peace of mind. I don't mind the extra weight. Um, especially in, you know, we're definitely in bear country, so for me, this is fine. I carried my CS, uh, CS Summit Thermarest uh, Z-Lite butt pad. I never go without one of these. For camp shoes, I had the Bedrock Karen Pros. Uh, they're kind of older and beat up. I love these sandals. They're a little heavy, but I can hike in them, and they can water cross in them. They're just a great all-around versatile sandal. Uh, for clothing, I had my Patagonia Micro Puff, which I used one night, mainly in the morning when it got a little cold, and I used it to keep the bugs off me. After we took a swim one day, it now has a huge hole in it from something. Um, then I carried a small EMS liner hat, which I did use one night when it got a little chilly. I had a Patagonia Supercell rain jacket. Uh, two pairs of so extra socks, uh, one pair of Njinji's, and then a uh, darn tough ankle sock. Two pairs of lightweight synthetic, just Hanes Cool Max underwear or whatever they are, cheap from TJ Maxx. Um, Kapoline lightweight, Kapoline 2 lightweight Johnny Pants, Patagonia, and then the matching Johnny shirt. Uh, Johnny Pants are the camp sweatpants, so multi-use piece of gear and even though it's summer it does get cold up here occasionally we weren't 100 percent sure what kind of weather we were gonna be having and since i hike in shorts all the time um these are like my pants in case i need them had a lightweight synthetic uh, mountain hardware old t-shirt to sleep in i like to have sleep clothes and hiking clothes because at the end of the day i just want to take my stuff off and put on a fresh pair of clothes to go to bed and then i had my uh, Patagonia Houdini pants. I love these things. I think they're incredibly versatile. They're lightweight windshield pants. Uh, you can wear them in the rain. They get wet, but they dry out super quick. They're great for throwing on over shorts uh, at camp. It's just for what they are. They're a full featured wind pant and they have all the pockets. They're pretty lightweight. I take these whenever I go out. And then the clothes I wore were I had my buff in case I came into contact with people, bugs, sun, just a great piece of gear to have. A pair of short ankle darn tough socks. A pair of lightweight synthetic undies. And then I had a older Patagonia button down shirt, same shirt I wore last time. Um, holding up pretty good, no issues. Just dirty and smelly. And then a Patagonia baggy five inch purple shorts. And I think that's everything. I don't think I missed anything. That was my loadout for our uh, three-day section hike on the Northville Plastic Trail. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. And, you know, what do you take when you go out? Uh, is there some stuff that you'd recommend changing? Do you use some of this gear? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, catch you in the next one.